past three years, I've been working on enterprise AR. And with that experience, I want to share with you today one of the most exciting applications that I've found, and that's augmented reality in retail, or as a term you're going to start hearing a lot of, is augmented commerce. So this is not a new story to a lot of you. Brick and mortar is on the decline. Retailers, traditional retailers are struggling. Um, JCPenney announced it's closing 13% of its stores this year. Macy's, the same story. They're down 2.7% in store sales. But at the same time, e-commerce is taking off. We're seeing it increase 15% year over year. But interestingly enough, e-commerce is still only 8% of all retail. Consumers are still going to stores, and 92% of those sales are happening at stores. So what is it that consumers want in store that they can't get online, and why are they still going to those stores? And it's really because, according to Retail Dive, that they want to see, touch, and feel products. You want to experience that product in the tangible and hold it in your hand and see what it looks like before you bring it home. And if you don't, a lot of times you're going to get this unexpected Amazon box that arrives at your door, and oh yeah, it's not the product you ordered. It's a quarter of the size, half the size, it's a different color, a different fabric. And so, but today we're all here because there's a technology that can actually remedy that and bring that tangible, physical experience to the home. And that's augmented reality. And augmented reality with e-commerce is what we're calling augmented commerce. So with augmented commerce, shoppers can actually try um, products in their home in 3D, augmented reality, um, through their mobile device or at some point through a headset. And this uh, brings that physical experience to the, to the digital world and removes that uncertainty of shopping online. And that removes that hesitation and can really woo shoppers to and shift the numbers that we're seeing. And what we do know, though, is a lot of retailers are hesitant on this technology. It's too new for us. The traditional guys don't want to get into it. They think they can wait. But we know that from a lot of the presentations today, the big players are already working on this. And this is from 2015, actually. Amazon did a small experiment where they had an AR feature available in its mobile app. Most people don't know that. And it was actually to try TV sets. So you could print out this tracker and try a TV set at home. It was available for a limited amount of time. But it goes to show that they've been thinking about this for a while. And just in March, the New York Times released the big piece on Amazon and their AR, VR vision, and what they're considering doing um, with the technology to allow shoppers to buy and try stoves and refrigerators, products that typically you as a consumer don't want to buy online because you don't know how big it is, you don't, aren't comfortable with how it's going to look in your home. We have Tango. Um, a lot of people have talked about Tango today. Um, Tango, uh, Google has partnered with top retailers, including Lowe's, Restoration Hardware, and Wayfair, to build Tango-enabled apps already. So if you have a Tango-enabled device, like the Lenovo Fab 2, you can actually use these apps to shop their products at home. So if I'm in the Wayfair Tango app, I can actually try what, see a new couch in my home. I can try the different colors in 3D, real size, real time. And it, rem again, removes that uncertainty of shopping online. And so what I would say is that augmented commerce is fast approaching, and traditional re retailers have to realize that. And if they don't, they're going to get pulled farther and farther behind in the competition, and the, competitor and the retailers that are dominating e-commerce and m-commerce today are going to continue to flourish. And so retailers need to start considering what is an AR augmented reality strategy? What does it look like for us? Where does augmented reality fit into the bigger omni-channel strategy? Where does how are we getting and securing 3D product content? Um, 3D product content is difficult to secure and get right. And so if retailers, again, don't start thinking about these considerations today, they will fall farther behind and won't be in the race for augmented commerce. And so with that, thank you. Um, and I'll be hanging around for questions later. Thank you.